We want to talk to you about the impact that the COVID-19 pandemic is having on intended parents who may have hoped to embark on surrogacy abroad. Many parents considering domestic surrogacy in the UK are disheartened by the relative shortage of surrogates available here. The domestic shortage of surrogates leads many intended parents to look at options abroad, particularly in jurisdictions such as the US, where commercial surrogacy is allowed. So Richard, is international surrogacy an option right now? International surrogacy by virtue of the uh, pandemic is of course virtually impossible right now, but that does not stop intended parents doing the legwork, for want of a better phrase, in terms of the research as to the legal implications, uh, immigration uh, issues such as getting a passport, identifying a clinic for example, and of course identifying a surrogate, which is uh, a key thing, uh, and the agreement uh, around uh, having a baby. So there's lots of things that uh, intended parents can actually do right now and get on with doing so that everything's lined up for when the restrictions are lifted. And Richie, can you explain why it's important for intended parents to apply for a parental order and perhaps get some legal advice early on? To be very clear, a parental order is the means by which the legal parenthood is transferred from the surrogate and her spouse or civil partner to the intended parents. Without that, it is simply not transferred. So you have no legal standing without it. You can't make decisions in relation to your child, child's medical health. You can't make any decisions in terms of education. Uh, there's an issue, of course, if you and your uh, husband or wife uh, separate, what is the status then of the child, there's issues in terms of inheritance and of course there's the issue of the standing of the surrogate because the surrogate will be the legal parent. So you're left in a very very bad situation where your child is still the responsibility of the surrogate, not of you. Okay so it's really important that intended parents thinking about surrogacy go and get that advice and learn about what they need to do to apply for parental order? It's been described by uh, Mrs Justice Tice uh, in the High Court as a ticking time bomb not to get legal advice and to make an application for a parental order. It is really asking for trouble and I would very much say to anyone in that situation you must get expert legal advice and do, do, do please apply for the parental order not just for your sake but for the sake, the future sake of your child. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you, Lauren.